cider. Okay. Alright. Enoch, I'll uh I'll take the side engines if you want to get the two rears and the balloon, I'll just kinda of come around the balloon. Alright. Uh I need a fire extinguisher, hold on. Oh, never mind, I got it. That wants me to take a crowbar. Yeah, definitely need a crowbar. That's like the whole point of this. Um, so, not rubber mallet, but crowbar. Yeah, crowbar is the only thing you really need. So, crowbar, fail safe, and fire extinguisher? That works. Yeah. Got it. Uh, how do I ready up? Uh, the captain's dude. Ability works on base equipment too. I haven't played this game yeah. since like 2012. <laughs> what factions are you guys? I switched to Mercantile. <laughs> Mercantile? Because I had like no faction rep anyway, so. Sorry, Mark Tass the best. They do get the best outfits. Easily. Someone sounds biased. It's just fact up, okay. Really? I'm, just, I'm just waiting to see uh, if I lag or not from memory leak or if DX9 fixes it. Is that the only difference in game, like, function wise, is just visuals uh you get different weapons and ships as you level up oh that's pretty crazy for the factions you're talking about yeah 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 each of them takes their own like rep gain basically and they all give you different fucking items and ships and stuff it's pretty crazy is it balance uh relatively but it's co-op so Ah, does that sense. not matter for PvP? Yeah, you can't use the uh, faction ships in PvP. Oh, okay. Yet. Why am I doing a puzzle game? I hate my life. Go find another shitty platformer. <laughs> There's a... Uh, there's some around. There's another one that was scout in scout the other day. It was pretty easy. Might do that sometime. I wish there were more games like Pinkman. Pinkman was great. Yeah. No extinguisher back here.
The what, what? The ship I'm on, like, the balloon just keeps going down. Oh, don't worry about the balloon. Just stay on the hull. What's the, um... What's the achievement, the perfect achievement requirements again? Like, no deaths? What was the question? I had a phone call. I just couldn't remember what the perfect uh, achievement condition was. I think it's for getting the um, VIP with um, full health. Wow, really? And then there's another one for the VIP with full health and all the supply ships dead, I want to say. Hmm. I'll take a look at it when we're in lobby. Was that uh, a line stuff? Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't have it, but... Well, I, I, I full repaired the freaking balloon that just the goddamn out of me. ball peen hammer. I wasn't getting any help. The only problem with this is that it's trash for coin. That's not that bad. How much did you get? I got like 180. Yeah, you were on the VIP ship though. We got like, I got like three. That's wow. a big difference. We're gonna swap around who gets it though. Yeah. Three more matches and Cold Maker Power 15 for me. Imagine you already got it, Undercam. Yeah, 100% VIP healthy, right? And 100% VIP and all enemy supply ships, you're right. Don't have any lag with going up, down ladders, or getting in guns. So that's good. Yeah, I'm playing in DX9. And they're not even nearly caught up to us. On I also turned off a lot of the graphic effects. We had another guy down top who wants to. Uh, some guns. You want to help with Pharaoh? What was that? Del Taco wants to join guns. You got like 20 seconds to join Del Taco. Maybe in the next one. Where's your microphone though, Del? Get, get that mic. Stayed up full plate of chicken. Ooh. Also, yeah, you should be able to join us through the uh, clan thing. The uh, password is cider. No, I just got the achievement for popping blood vessels. Nice. It's bugged. That's yeah. one for uh, Pops. unlocking Random. abilities. Oh, okay. <laughs> is that, he probably has that one. I got one of them. The other two didn't uh, bug out for me. Yet. What do you mean? Like, they, it's bugged. It'll auto-grant it to you sometimes, even if you didn't do it. Where's your microphone, Dell? You're not gonna play with us if you don't have a mic. What do you think this is? Zenek 2017? Is the Guns of Vickers community usually fairly skilled i imagine it's mostly just like hardcore players that actually play no uh, there's a bunch of
Less than other alliance is out, but generally, yeah. That's neat. I see a ton of newer players. Are bad players. Are those the ones you join your teams at? Nope. Enemy team getting wrecked. Fuck that gun, dude. Who cares? <laughs> what? Don't worry about the guns. What are you talking about? The guns you're healing? What? Shit. Sorry. Yeah, that was partially my bad. <laughs> So when it does break, we have to repair, we just can't buff it, right? Yeah, you have to use it at one of your other tools. If you have the wrench, yeah. it works pretty well. Nah, I got the, the armor, it's the fancy. Okay. I've, I've got uh, buff, failsafe, fire extinguisher, and whatever my core is. So I'm pretty good. Gotcha. That's a good build normally, but for like the weird thing that we're doing, it's good to switch to the wrench so that you can repair it if it goes all the way down. Alright, so for the, what, which one should I take off? Uh, failsafe, probably. Okay. I would have wrench, but I'm doing it as a gunner. <laughs> which, by the way, this works pretty well as a gunner as well, if you need, uh, as long as you're not in a VIP ship. Um, so you can get the old dog ones for Gunner if you don't have them yet. Yeah, I just got the old dog last game. So what's the idea? We're just supposed to stay alive? Yeah, so we tank so that the uh, VIP ship can go ahead and all the enemies stay focused on us. Uh, so we're just, yeah, pure tank. Did we get all the supply ships that time? Or no? No, I just wanted M3. Nah, I think you guys would have to go after him if you're gonna be able to get him at all. Oh, yeah, I don't think we, um... Uh, I don't know how all that works. We could give it a shot, I suppose, but... That'd be I tough. I think everyone would have to be on board. Got service record. Nice, I just got a couple of achievements. What'd you get? Uh, one of the recommendation ones and uh, one of the old dog gunner ones. They're letting you play gunner? <laughs> yeah, man. All you need the armor kit. So. Yeah. Uh, I want the bite wrench or I want the scanner? 
the spanner's better for fixing it if it's all the way broken. Yeah. There we go. What game are you playing? Guns Wait, Icarus. Oh god, uh, why? This is wins on Infiltration yeah. Veteran. Getting massive war effort and increasing our... Um, and taking uh, Yunnan. Oh, that was somebody in the in game that asked that, yeah. not you guys. It's also yeah. Fun fact for getting your, uh, I'm really bad at telling. <laughs> this is Guns of Icarus actually have good voice. Any alliance uh, reputation? Who did we just we just lost our captain? Who we lose? Oh wow, yeah, this has already given me like 6k um, level XP. I thought you were going to say ace stats points, I was like, holy shit. I'm going to put 5k on that. <laughs> God damn it, the fuck. <laughs> I've got a Corsair. Idea. As long as every ship has three and the uh, squid has four, we're okay. Horn and um, go into that first area over there next to the dam and blow the horn and just jump onto the hole. Unfortunately, I do not have the horn. Somebody else does at this time. Yeah, it's a, it's a fairly important aspect of it. If you, uh, if you other three ships are able to take out those supply ships, we can get the other achievement. That'd be really cool. That would be cool. Only need to do it five times. Yep. Yeah. For whatever reason, my mic in Guns of Icarus sounds like I'm possessed. Aren't you possessed? I mean, not like... That's what I thought. People can't usually tell, though. Ah, it just brings it out a bit more. Yo, what was that whole thing about South Park of, like, does Kenny die or something at some point? Um, it used to be, like, the earlier seasons, he would pretty much just die every episode. <laughs> oh, they don't but, do that anymore? They, I mean, it kind of got in the way of what they wanted to do. So he started, started dying less. Mm -hmm. He still sometimes dies. Uh, and like they also had an episode where like he actually died, and there's another episode like explaining his like what happens really. That's funny. Yeah, you should just watch every episode. No, the first season's awful. <laughs> <laughs> don't start there. Just jump in at maybe like I don't know what a good season to jump into would be, but definitely not one. I'm so bad at starting shows, me spot other than the beginning. Remember that episode of Rick and Morty where they basically ruin their universe? So they just go to another universe and kill the like themselves in that universe and bury, bury them in the dead backyard. bodies. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. The whole that episode of Morty terrible. just has this like horrified look on his face. They keep I always like crap. calling back to that too. Yeah, like, like, randomly at the end of another episode it will just cut to that universe and like summer will just be like alone like around a campfire <laughs> just crying it's horrible it's hunger games uh summer that was in the uh do you guys see that new like april fools episode yeah i haven't seen that one yet uh they made like a season three episode one that may or may not be canon but it might just be an april fools thing 
I kind of want to watch it, but at the same time, I don't want to, like, watch it and then be excited about the show and have to wait. Oh, shit. Wow. That yeah, hasn't happened like, before. Shot us, man. It's like, bam, bam, dead. They always like, say. I have an achievement for something, so. Have you seen any new episodes, Hobbs? Nah, not yet. We'll find them. What facts are you guys? Question. I probably will tonight. It's annoying having ads on Hulu. I guess I'm fashion level two. Okay. I think I'm yeah, I'm mid seven. That sounds pretty miserable having all those ads. It's fine for like shows like The Flash where like I'm watching it with somebody else and like Yeah, can just actually, like talk and break. She's Netflix though, instead of Hulu. I don't think South Park's on right. Netflix. No, I South had, Park is on Netflix. Oh. I had Hulu for a little bit, because I got a year for free or something, and I used it like once, and it was fucking miserable. It had like nothing good. Nothing I worked like, right, it was always shit. Yeah, I have uh, Netflix and HBO Go, so I just use those. I think we have like everything. HBO Go seems legit. Yeah, I have Netflix and then Amazon and whatever. That's true, I keep forgetting I have that Prime Video stuff, I just never use it. It's so great. My sister works at Corporate Amazon, and she just recently gave me access to her account. So it's like, got pro like full Prime access with like the videos and shit. And then she also gets 10% discount on everything. Oh, nice. Those sis accounts. <laughs> this guy streaming Bashi again. What's up? What works? Oh. Does he like to do good? I know what looks played Bashi anymore. You're playing Bashi? Is he like good? I mean, it looks like he's like trying to speed run it. I mean, he used to be a world record holder. Uh, I don't know who world record holder is now. Is he like DPF or something? Like plus 11 seconds on whatever his time is, I guess. I imagine he hasn't played it in forever. Yeah. Yeah, so I have to just watch that one. Yeah, yeah, this is a good one. I like it. I think the Lord of the Rings one might have been the best one so far. Yeah, dude, that, that's a great one. Wait, there's a D D D D D part? Yeah, level like three or something. Just skip it though. What the hell is he doing? Probably trying to skip it. Holy cow, that looks so confusing. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Hey guys, I'm back. Hey, I'm back. We're right back. Same. Alright, I'm back. Back streets, back. Alright. Yeah, I got the black armor, Apollo. Oh, uh, the skull armor? Nah, just Don't the talk black armor. Don't worry one. about the uh, blue. The SWAT armor? No, 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 like the just black armor. It's called. It's like so basically. So you got a the... shitty one. It's still really cool looking. It's the best like normal one. Yeah. 
That's that's not cool. I also it's, like the green it's like one. The, think of like the skeleton just without the skeleton, like that color. Sadly, I didn't get mega rust. I'm kind of sad about that. Yeah, why not? I thought everyone gets it at 250. No, it's just I got like a it. random chance for the from the cosmetic things. Oh, okay. I guess I lucked out. Actually, yeah, I did luck out, but don't really worry about it. It's not that great of a mask. Yeah, I just kind of wanted it, like, you know, just to have. I'm not going to yeah. use the cl Mega Clover, but it's just nice to have. Yeah, I want all the, like, king and queen masks. There's really nothing to do solo in Payday the Heist, right? Mm. Mm, very few things. You can uninstall it by yourself usually. I want a Newman man. I don't uninstall games. You may need your friends for it, but I think you can uninstall by yourself. I want to do Payday one. Do at some point. Nice. I'm trying to convince Newman or yeah Newman. Yeah. Hell yeah. He says it gives him motion sickness, dude. That's BS. That does sound a little BS. <laughs> then again, he says that like, everything gives him motion sickness. I just want to get those two achievements done so I don't have to worry about Pede. Kind of bugs me. I have a friend, he has 3,000 hours in the original Pede the Heist, and he's missing one achievement. What did she win? It's like not even anything you would think you would have gotten it by now. It's just like, don't let any hostages escape counterfeit. That's... For when? Like, till you open the vault, or...? I think something like that. No, you have to beat it without letting any hostages die or escape. But, mm -hmm. like, I feel like that would have just happened naturally over the course of 3,000 hours. <laughs> yeah. That's the guy who taught me how to do diamond heist, like how to kite them around. It's like the easiest heist ever, once you, like, you know the strat for it. Check which which achievement is the one achievement I have in that game. Fucking gain a yeah, level on the assault tree during an assault. <laughs> Rip, I can't believe it one she had. Fucking two percent, dude. I didn't even dominate a cop. Yeah, there's not I'm looking through the list right now. There's not a lot of things you can do solo. I mean in, in payday two, few like ninety percent of the stuff can be done solo. It's like the hours are here. You like need four people for one or 245 or whatever? Yeah. It would just be stupid to try 145 plus without more people. Leeson could do it. Oh, yeah. Leeson would solo it. Leeson's too good at games. His buddy was in the voice. That Wexy guy or whatever. Yeah. He's one of the guys that's been carrying him, I guess. But I thought he sold it. That's the word around the office, but I mean... I Yo, Auburn. Oi. What was this Boshi speedrunner? Who, Whitwicks? Yeah. What about him? Is he really good? I mean, like Auro, I... Auro was talking about him. I mean, he used to have a record. He ran it at GDQ. Why does this game have? Why does this game on Steam and have achievements with on Steam? That'd be nice. Because it's got so much copyright material in it. Not cool. Oh, um, true. <laughs> Videos five K viewers. Yes. 
Okay, okay. Is that how push works? I think I think Twitch works in the way where the worse you are, the more viewers you get. Getting all the achievements. Is he running 100%? He's got three deaths. He's doing uh 80 percent. Oh wow! I was watching the stream earlier and I just opened it again and he's like at the same point where I was last time. What a casual. Was it no, I Mario guess he level? like re he restarted or something. Oh god, that fucking sub that sub don't or the subscriber thing that goes off is ridiculous. What do you think would be better, the Lord of the Rings Lego movie, or game, or the Harry Potter, or not, sorry, let me just stop talking and rephrase that. Would the Lord of the Rings or the Hobbit Lego game be better? Neither. Uh, the Lord of the Rings one is uh, better than the Hobbit one, but it does have a few glitches that uh, you need to put in the dev codes at the end of the game. Um, the dev codes only work if you're at like 90% done anyway um, to get your missing golden pieces because for whatever reason there's like five or six golden pieces that when you collect them they just don't count. Hmm. So they added a dev code and that's the only way you can actually finish the game. Um, but it's not like missable? It's it's not missable, no. Okay. It's You just have to do it after you're done with everything. Cool. Um, it's the way the devs fixed it because they were like we could uh patch the game and figure out what's wrong but that would cost us money to uh send to microsoft for testing so we'll just put in codes in the game and give everyone the codes and it only works if you're at like 98 percent done with the game anyway it will not work anything below that fair So you'd recommend the Lord of the Rings one? Yeah, Lord of the Rings one is good. Um, it's shorter than The Hobbit. The Hobbit is really long, and you have to farm materials in, like, random dungeons and stuff. Like, you have to go back to places that you're done with just to get the materials for things. It's dumb. That's silly. It's a crafting system. And it's because they expect children to play the same level over and over again and not finish it in, like, one run. Speedrunners were nice. That's pretty much what I did when I played it on the Wii like five years ago. Yeah. We had gotten like a hundred percent on the Star Wars one. The first one. What the fuck? Mega Man's a bot. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably my first Hundo, technically. I guess it wasn't a theme Hundo, but Alright. Sorry. What? I no, said I he's talking. bought uh, Mega Man's in Boshi. My fucking voice just went out when I was trying to talk. Yeah, there's so many like copyrighted things. <laughs> yeah, there. I see this. Oh, have you never seen a Boshi room? Yeah, he just beat the Mega Man. I mean, like, have you never seen Boshi the same, right? I've never seen that Mega Man fight, I don't think. Yeah. Would you say but that took like all five seconds? All of those, like, games fan games like that are all the same pretty much right like i want to no. be the guy or like what you, i mean the physics are similar if that's what you mean is anna what's up Bosh uses the uh, ship slots what'd you say i don't know they they kind of seem all sim very similar to let's me. switch ship slots what yeah like the spikes all i got are all the same that's up to the designer so I'll be right back. Take the generic approach. So when your voice just takes a takes a deep note and you just can't get it back to normal. <laughs> what was that? Are you okay there? No, I'm not okay. okay. Something's like something's like stuck and I can't get it out.
Halo. Right, I've realized okay. that these animated Jigsaws games use the same cutout template for each of their size puzzles. So if I can make that template without the picture and an overlay, it's going to be easy peasy. Fucking puzzle strats. So I tried to teach uh, Amaris how to do shadow raids on it. Hang on, I just got back. Who was saying something to me? I was saying I was teaching Amaris how to do shadow raids. Oh yeah, did uh, she yeah, learn? Did she stuff to you? Uh yeah, I don't know if she's ready for crime spree though. Give it like. Well, you gotta learn like too. a few of those different heists and be very comfortable with them. If you want to be super safe, um. There's only three you should do, like Shadow Raid, the FBI building, and Clubhouse. There's nothing wrong with Election Day. <laughs> too. Election Day two. Can you get Election Day 1 or no? No, you can't. No. We almost Lame. got baited into thinking we could because it was called like Truck Yard or something, but it was fucking Watch Dogs. Yeah, watch watch dogs. Dogs. <laughs> yeah. Dude, we almost baited, got baited. We got like, yacht heist once. It. That was weird. Yeah, yeah, they they weren't weren't lab rats. It's like four coins or whatever. Dude, what the fuck? I know. Yo, lab rats. Get an easy one. Nice. I mean, if you want to save your coins, I'd go up to a hundred without. Hundred um, what? Hundred like crime spree level, maybe like hundred and twenty without using your coins. Oh uh, yeah, I probably will. Um. It's just, it starts getting harder once, like, you get, like, the ones that are, like, oh, two more dozers can be on the map. You get that twice, so there's, like, six dozers that can be allowed, and then all dozers must be skull dozers, and then dozers can't take explosive damage, and you got these, like, tanks running around and shit. Doesn't it in stealth, anyway? Yeah, the game yeah, sounds incredible. Like, get loud. It gets to the point where it's just way, way, way easier to do it still. Stealth modifiers are pretty pointless. The only one that could actually affect you in ECM rushing is like killing a certain amount of civs will sound the alarm. And that gets down to four, but I mean even then, like on Shadow Raid, you're not going to kill more than like one civ, maybe two. Listen, I have a actual emotional need to kill all the civs always. I want to kind of like go back and try to solo that wet floor achievement just for fun. Hey, have you always been a Discord partner? Yeah. You just recently got it. No, I did not. Oh, I thought you were. No, you were no, part, part of the oh, Discord oh. Turbo Club oh. or whatever. That's what I remember. Yeah, because this recently been a... became a visible thing. Yeah. Mm. I was asking if he's gonna become a hype partner, but he can't. Hype squad. That's what it is. Yeah, you can't be hype squad if you're partner, which sucks. Hype squad. Hype squad is for people that are not partners, but they still like advertise Discord and stuff and go out to like events and stuff and talk about it. They Damn, don't have so squad. charity work. Yeah. yeah. Basically. Well, they give you swag and stuff, and you can get into certain events easier, I guess. Supposedly, it's like a pretty decent program. Yeah. Uh, they don't pay for it? They don't pay, no, but you, you just oh. get, like, you get Discord shirts and hoodies and shit like that. The higher you are, you're, like, required to go to events? You're not, like, required, but you're supposed to, like, go there and do different stuff for them, and they have, like, a Discord where they talk about what they're trying to do and all that. So you get you get like a profile badge, you get access to a secret server. Um, the higher your level, the more shit you get from them. Stuff like that. Good service. Yeah. Uh, Hobbs, you can't do it. Wow. You're not 16. 
I also don't have. You have to be 16 years or older. Bucks to blow on fucking. No, that too. But I mean, fucking pass. You could go to your school and do it. You don't have to necessarily go to like a convention. <laughs> go to your school. Be like Discord. What? Discord you have to go to conventions. That's like the whole point. You, no, it's it's this. Yeah, hey, it's nice. also go conventions. The, uh, but you, world. you go to places and talk about Discord. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, like a convention. Or a school. No, nobody would fucking do that. Y'all, Mrs. Hey, Drich, you know what this biology class c could use? A Discord. <laughs> Dude, could you imagine in schools use Discord to, like, hand out assignments and shit? Yeah. You know, like, had announcements on the Discord channels. A bunch of schools oh, and faculty and nice stuff use Slack, at least. It's not that different. Be fucking awful. I'm fucking dying, dude. Fucking Newman adding Heister on the payday server to like 2,000 people. Did he really do that? <laughs> he did oh, what? When they added the payday, payday server, for some reason you could add Heister and nobody knew. <laughs> <laughs> Why would he do that? What a fucking troll. Then, like, like remove. People did it like an hour later. Some guy was like, at Newman, seriously, man, not cool. Don't ever do that again. He doesn't care if they ban him, he's got his hundo. He doesn't play this game ever again. Yeah. Unless, you know, they release more DLC. Like, get him up. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good word for it. I wonder if he really did uninstall you pretty bitch move. Dude, that would be so... I mean, I only have, like, two achievements, and he knows that, but he said he'd help. Plus, I mean, we are gonna help par for a little bit. You trying to join up here, Pharaoh? Who was saying that earlier? Sorry. What? I'm confused. What? Uh, I thought Pharaoh was trying to be on a team with uh, Hunter Pal or something. Why did Facebook just tell me how to spot fake news? <laughs> because they're got leaked. Yeah, buddy. You didn't listen to it yet? Wait, uh, fake news is a real thing. You gotta wait, man. <laughs> well, it's proper release date. Wow. That's how you support Compton, huh? Mm -hmm. Compton's about that street life, man. Fuck. <laughs> Think that's gonna be? It's gonna be? Is it any good? Uh, it's Kendrick. I saw John get online. There's a free spot on the game. John's on a whole the, other the level. DLC, right, for guns? Yeah. Does John not have the DLC? Uh, I think he, he does. does. He's, he's been... Out. Thing is, he's so above the cap, I don't even know why he's fucking playing anymore. Who? Ralph? Probably both of them. Or John Icarus. But Icarus is way above cap. And he's yeah, just yeah. grinding all day long. Same thing over and over. Yeah, if he bought Alliance, he'd have like almost all the Alliance achievements already. Gotta go for the 100% then. I don't think he's realistically going for the hundo. He's like, he's not even halfway there, really. Does he even go to the game? Like, logistical's bad enough to go for the hundo in, and something like Zakaria. Would be fucking crazy, but to go for the hundo in guns of fucking Icarus, just why? 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 It is a fun game. What just... about Champions Online? Is that game still a thing? Uh, yeah, it's just that like 30 of the achievements are broken. I thought it was way more than 30. Maybe it I'm thinking Fallen Earth. Have uh, the game installed and I booted it up? Oh, got trapped. dude. Fall on Earth has the same problem, but the thing is, though, why. Champs Online. Champs Online is actually fun. I enjoyed playing it. Uh, if you play, you have to get the.
holiday achievements. So there's like Christmas and Halloween are the big ones, and then I think there's a few incidentals. But the only thing that scares me is there's a couple of achievements for reading books or like that kind of stuff, finding collectibles in the game. And some of them are only available in a certain uh, instance when you have a certain quest in your quest log. So, and it, it's not even if you complete the quest, it's just you only get to go there once. So if you don't pick up that thing, you need to go start another character and get it to like level 30 or 40 before you have a chance to do it again. P.S. You yeah. can hold down your mouse to continually swing any item. <laughs> but I like it this way. <laughs> Wow! Kaboom! Alright, I bought the Lord of the Rings. Sanak, apparently, um, the fucking live action Attack on Titan stage show is cancelled. Good. And never to be seen again. Good. Hopefully they cancel the fucking base show too, it's shitty ass so, anime. Apparently the guy that was like the main aerial supervisor for the show was inspecting a wire and he died. Hopefully they cancel the wow. original anime too. Why would you say such a thing? Because that show sucks dick. Wow, dude. All the anime sucks. Overhyped dick. weeb trash. I like for the for the fucking life of me, I can understand people liking My Little Pony more than I can understand the hype around fucking Attack on Titan. Can you though? It's a bunch of like fucking high school kids screaming at each other and having the emotional fucking intelligence of an average Japanese person, which is fucking zero. Just screaming at each other and like, then they move in 3D, cool, sick. <laughs> Like, what do people like about that fucking show? Please explain. <laughs> Can you please tell me how to Haruda. What? Oh my god. I'm watching a video. What the fuck are you doing? You fucking started a conversation with me. You put a video on mid sentence? No, I just, just figured you were done talking about it. <laughs> Never <Yeah>. stop talking. I've <laughs> been ranting for four minutes straight. Oh. Because you said, hope the anime died, and I was like, alright, I guess that's done with that. Dude, I went on to tell you why it's horrible with very colorful and exciting language, and I'm a little bit disappointed. Oh, okay. Kind of let me down on this one. Dude, so much for this being an epic fucking speedrun when we've got someone in the game who takes the entire match load period to load their fucking shitty ass game up. Who's that? Usually this match thing, the screen run right now, you won't even like see it. Like people load into the game in like two seconds, you know? League of Legends all over again. <gasps> I would never fucking play League of Legends. That'd be the last game I'd ever play on Earth. Oh, really, though? That community just looks so, so bad. Dota's debatably worse. No way. No way. I've had just as much issues on Dota. I had a couple of friends who were like super into some of those, you know, like friends who work at Twitch or whatever like that, and they'd be huge into, what'd you say? What? 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 I don't know. What? No, but I feel like in Dota, people just quit. Like, if people just aren't feeling it, they'll just leave the fucking game. Good. It's so what? weird. Like, if, if you, like, get first blood, just somebody's gonna leave. I kinda feel like it's, like, that's a thing in almost any game. Well, and in that's... Dota, there's no, like, if somebody gets ahead, you cannot kill them. 
Yeah, that's what I did for Dota in League of Legends. Is basically me and my buddies would always find the weakest kind of jungle kill or early kill or some whatever sneak attack and just get somebody and then boom, gank done. <laughs> like three minutes in, you could just play whatever it could fucking turtle until end game, like Nasus or something. Doesn't have yeah. achievements though. Well, what I would do is I'd always get like Pudge and like whatever Silence character or something, and it'd just be like fucking one and done, two minutes in. Where you'd go. There were like... some crazy ass strats in Dota. There was this one strat that my buddy pulled where one of them should play Ursa, and then our other buddy would play Io, and they would like solo or duo. Like uh, the equivalent of Baron, uh, like Rosh three minutes Rosh, in. Yeah. yeah, Rosh. I don't know how it worked, but like Io and Ursa would just work together to kill Rosh. Yeah, I could. I could always do a level six Rosh. Still talk is still in our game. Don't think so. Where's your microphone, Dell? He hasn't been able to talk in like a week. One of one of you guys jumped over the clone ship. That way, uh, he only has one AI. Marching band. Yeah, gives you an increase to all the stuff that you do in an area for 30 minutes. Yeah. 
different time periods. Oh, yeah. That thing that... Like reference the, serum, Martian DNA. Yeah. They're mathematically, like, inferior. What are you guys doing on your ship, Peaky? Space popping. Wait, you guys on different <laughs> ships? Yeah, we're all on different ships. Each ship is a team of four people. Each have four people, right? Yeah, we each have four people on our own ship, so it's sixteen people total per yeah, team. Yeah, like, are you queued with the guys, or what do you mean? Like, do you know each three people on your ship? No, they're like people in our faction, though. Yeah, that's the other thing about this game. If we ever wanted to seriously achievement hunt it, we'd need like. Fucking 20 hundred pals on at once, all dedicated to it. For hours. Yeah, fuck that. This is such a boring grind. I love just going all to all my Discord servers that I'm in, just looking at people like alone in a voice channel. Why? Yeah. Well, Got a bunch funny. of achievements so far, so that's nice. Sure. What's weird about that? Yeah. 
here to kill the ship. Yeah, boy. Yeah, what? Yes, yeah, not. Man, I keep thinking Discord is Guns of Icarus or vice versa. Yep. I love how that's a viable option in PvP and shit. Yeah. Well, there's this uh, skill thingy on the, uh, instead of getting the telescope, you can get something that makes you better at ramming. 
Uh, there's a pilot ability that lets you put like a an impact shield on momentarily. Yeah. Doesn't really make you better. It just makes it so you don't get hurt when you're headbutting a motherfucker. But yeah, you can you use the alcohol to like boost up your speed really fast, really quick, and your acceleration. And then you turn on those impact bumpers and just ram the fuck out of people. All of the pilot achievements for like ram kills are so fucking fun to get. Should be our last for eight to get the perfect world. I don't know if I played eight. I think I missed your first game. Huh. Get an next one. Perfect world and filtration. Yeah, old dog three and perfect world. Graduated from Nondus. No. I'm supposed to want to do that, though, aren't I? Just makes it bad for anyone else playing with you, because before they could earn like novice progression achievements playing with you, and now they can't. Yeah. Now you're a tainted non-virgin. for getting up novice because it gave me like all of the stuff that I just had to be level 8 or 7 or whatever to get mm -hmm. and I had all the kill parts of the second part of those As I don't have one to hand, I pair five uh, things with one crewmate.
I really wish we could take out all three of the supply ships, but it is pretty difficult. Keep pushing your team to do it. See if you can. Okay, I'm always trying to jump on a gun when I can, but. The trouble is that the last one spawns way out here by us when we're doing the mission. Yeah. So I really think we would have to take out that last one. And these people aren't really interested in Chivos, they just want the XP. getting progress on other achievements though at least so that's nice it should be
how you doing, buddy? So, I believe that the issues I was having actually were entirely my fault, and I have a very particular technological explanation, but uh, I, I'm under the impression that I fixed it. The impression Any problems? Is, well, let's try to further explain. Too much yuck. Uh, yeah, seems it was me after all, which makes me mm. both happy and sad. Down the ground that I could technically fix it, sad, but yeah, at least not. it's. Forgot that Zenic was streaming. Wieners, wieners, wieners. What do you mean? You forgot to yell, silly word. You get to yell wieners on your stream. <laughs> no! No! Right as Dickhead Johnson joins. Is that your alt, Hiki? I wish. We just joined. Sure, fucking did. Kind of questionable. So you said the Reality Incognita game as a demo? Or, sorry, yeah. the guy? The game itself? Or the demo? The demo. Um, which one was that again? 
Oh, it might be on ace stats. I don't, I don't think you need it though. I forgot. Is that the game where you wake up in a stasis pod? Something about waking up in an unexpected place is in the description. Pretty easy. Things up based on interest. It's it's more of a. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we're talking about them or that. I mean, but, uh, do, you, do you have a uh, technical background? This game is so only, fucked. Only as a high Can we get out of the menu? It's, it's a it's, right. it's a high end mind that must not admit it to you out of you. Mm -hmm. Hello, I was going to uh, jump in and do um, cryptographic networking. It's some form of a job. Yeah, I have a degree in security risk analysis for cybersecurity, so I, I had to do all that kind of stuff by hand in, in college. So nice. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it was nice and kind of, I don't know, enlightening in that I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would. Digital forensic science type stuff too, it just bores the ever living crap out of me, even though it should technically be like well, somewhat interesting. Do you mean when learning it in an educational environment? Because there's I hate those. Like I literally no. dropped out after my year of high school and that was No, that was no, I mean thing. I mean the actual like uh work that they have you do. Like I had some good teachers that had like a uh, some case studies and, and stuff like where we would have to actually I enjoy doing do that. anything faster but m maybe that's because I don't do those jobs that you do it's being really fucking slow What's being slow? The demo. Like acting really weird, like changing how my cursor is. And like, none of the buttons on the main menu work. And like, can't go into my Steam overlay and stuff. Have you um, been to confession lately? Well, I'm just, I mean. Just one idea could be punishment from God. You think he'll be on to something?
go verify this guy. Uh, I already commented on that. You will do it. What's up? Does his A stats look sketchy? Because I mean, he's done Fallout Shelter already. It yeah, looks like he has. He's got stuff, so I can uh, get it away. Yeah, I didn't read the comments yet. Cool animated long image on his profile. Surf rats. Here's a yeah. reasonable question. Yeah. What operating system do you run? You said what operating system? Sorry, John That's was what talking. I said. Yeah, I can hear because John was talking. But uh, yeah, I'm on Windows 8 currently right now. Huh? That made me get impressed. I thought you were gonna say 10. I was gonna bet money on ten. Yep. I because I'm a degenerate actually run Arch Linux. No. 
I, I mean, I used to run Linux back in college, but I, mean, I didn't feel like it when I got home. But now you're like, oh, my God. Pretty much. Yeah, well, my machine's so shit for games anyway that I just... Nah, who cares? <laughs> you know? Uh, no, I mean, I... It's not the only reason. I, I have a tremendous amount of reasons why I actually do quite like any video that I play. What, we're the that number one in off. progress? What the heck? album is on uh, Spotify now. <laughs> they did an emergency release? <laughs> Fucking may as well nowadays. Uh, I don't know. I should put on some music. Been listening to a lot of Symphony X. First song on his album wasn't even a song. How could it not be a song? It's just like a violin with him talking over it. Welcome to art, dude. <laughs> Listen to it, it's called Blood, dude. What the fuck? This is an exciting round.
pop your pop your special, man. Don't worry about it. I already used mine. Oh, okay. During the other time, we almost blew up. Oh, we we must have both did because I I popped it too. Yeah, it went down twice. <laughs> <laughs> eh, shit happened. That was that close. Ridiculously good. Yeah. Middle of city, like any big city. Category. Yeah, you can get a job. Like that, but I location. I don't live in a big city, so and I kind of have refused to go into the one near me because it's Philadelphia, and I don't like Philadelphia at all. Hey, did you end up doing the floor so is lava achievement or whatever on payday? Even with victories. Wet floor. Hey, should we finish yeah. up Alice too? Uh uh. Just getting in. Uh, we're, we're focusing on getting the, uh, un union, union, union. Yeah, union. I know, but um, it's like, it's like so close. It's like 40, well, 40. The thing 40. is, the moment we do that, they'll start focusing on union to defend it. Currently, anything that they put into Alliston, or Steve as they like to call it, uh, it, it's going to be wasted because we'll still finish it before they do. So it's kind of like just letting them waste their time. I vote that we call Union Oscar because someone's gonna probably argue it's pronounced Yunin or something like that. So let's let's uh. Let's so we got Steve and Oscar. Oscar. Yeah, Steve and Oscar. What are, what are these names? Why would you name it Oscar for for that reason at all? Well, is it Alston? Is it Alliston? Is it Aleston? We don't know. Yeah. So yeah, fuck it. it. It's called Steve. Ale Stein. Yeah, but we're adults, so we can agree to disagree. No, no we can agree that. that. Some I'm people are wrong. Leader. It's just he's a faction it's just leader. Steve. As faction leaders, we're agreeing that it's Steve and Oscar. <laughs> That's it's it's not a democracy. Doge speaks, <laughs> and the Council of Ten has spoken. <laughs> <laughs> Steve. We should make that a new plan, the Council of Ten. It's pronounced quotation mark A L N E S T O N quotation mark. <laughs> you always have to type it every time or say it just by spelling it.
looking at the games I've started, I'm just reliving how fucked my EDC is gonna be. Like, I have one achievement in so many random games like Skyrim, fucking Warframe, Just Cause. I have a, one achievement in Path of Exile. Oh, that's or brutal. Just, <laughs> just play like 700 more games and it won't matter. Yeah. I mean, it still matters though. I mean, I'm not like worried about getting like anything high. I just want to stay like above maybe like 70%. 70? 70 is easy, honestly. Yeah, I've been climbing almost to like 78 now. I'm at 72 right now. I want to hit 80. I feel like it took me forever to make it to the 90s. I had to go back and hit some of my old games. It would take me like 500 hundos to fucking hit 90s if I didn't do any old stuff. I haven't achieved any Gotham City imposter. Fuck. That's one I really wanted to farm. There's a guy, uh, actually there's like three guys who have points in it that I don't, I can't believe that they found anyone else to play with. I mean, isn't like all the achievements in that game locked behind a paywall? No. I swear most of them were. No, uh, you can unlock the stuff. It's just uh, if you can pay to unlock it or you could just play the game normally. Uh, pay to unlock? Yeah. To unlock the weapons or the skins and all that stuff that are tied to achievements, so you don't have to unlock the achievement. I bought, uh, there was a, a couple of sales, there was also a couple of bundles that had some of the starter packs, and eventually somewhere sold like the entire thing for like a dollar. And so that's what I did, so I had all the DLC. But it's just multiplayer, Brian. That's all it is. That's all you gotta do is multiplayer, Brian. But I just don't believe anyone can find other people to play with, let alone people when that you cooperate. I mean, the game's like totally dead, right? Yeah, I think so. I can't even remember if you can do private or not. I think it's ranked, so I think you have to play on a public server. I wouldn't even bother if the game was totally dead, because like you would get the chibos you wanted, and then like, oh, you're shutting the game down, and then you don't get points on this. Is that really what I have to What do you get on? Nah. Should I use an auto clicker for a shake your money simulator? Yeah. Nah, dude, just shake your money. I think all of not them entirely are. sure like, how this game's supposed to work. Factions have like really ridiculous looking crap, like not crap, but like have you, and have you seen the um, no, it's have crap. you seen the Stormbreaker? Uh, which one's that? I mean, uh, other than the I one called Stormbreaker, but like. <laughs> Uh, so you haven't seen the Stormbreaker shit at all? It's on the developer app. No, uh, I, no I'm assuming, anymore. I'm assuming that the Stormbreaker is gonna be the, uh, Arashi one, but, uh, no, I haven't seen the Yeager Abyss one yet. Dude, sometimes it just hits me that I'm dating a fucking white girl. A white girl. Why is this a terrible thing? 
It's just weird. I hadn't done it for such a long time. That's funny, I got the achievement for getting 10 trophies of each thing on the first level I played. Yeah, that one uh, just happens like that. Yeah, it looks like it's bugged. This game runs like shit on my computer. Are you running it on full stack? Or are you uh, downgrading? I even turned it down a little to see if it'd be better. It didn't get much better. Are you running it in DX11? Yep. I'm running mine in DX9 and having a great time. I'm, I no longer have the memory leak. I don't have stutter. And I turn down all the graphics. And like, you can just see enemies way better when you don't have any of the weather effects. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, fuck the weather effects, dude. So that's pretty funny. It's kinda like... cheesing a bit, but... I think it's the weather effects that are fucking with me. Hey, at least you're not yeah, turning yeah. your laptop into power saver mode to slow down the game you're playing. Oh! Lock him up. I don't know how many more of these I can do in a row. Well, what what's the uh, thing? There's 15 and then there's a couple other ones. Fifteen what? World thing. Oh, we already did that. No, but there's more after it. We're doing the same thing more times. Uh, I didn't think so. I thought it was for doing it and killing all the supply ships for veteran, and the other one was for hell mode. The only thing we're gaining right now is veteran victories, veteran plays, um, play with a faction leader, we're getting faction reputation. Um, yeah, I still have a uh, win 12 infiltration with 100% VIP health on hell. On hell, but we're playing veteran. So that would be 100% health and all enemy ships. Yeah, hell's the next difficulty. Hey, got you know, mission complete, whatever that is, and I got uh, level 4 engineer. Oh god. There's just kind of like daily, weekly mission things that look like Chivos, but they're not. There's so many spend coins on X achievements, like, if you just farmed up enough coin, you could probably get those all in one go. Yeah. So if I, like, start Guns of Icarus, like, late, is that fine? Late? What do you mean? Like, if I start it at, like, in, like, a month, would, would I, I still be able to play with you guys. Probably not. I'll still have it installed and I'll still play with you even if I'm done. 
that's that's the kind of player I am. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to spend 15 bucks on the DLC right now, but maybe in like a month. I'll probably be done with it pretty soon. -ish. I mean, you're just gonna go point cap, right? I mean, it's just not even that. It's just like I don't know. I like the PvP a lot, but the PvE is kind of boring to me. Well, we'll still need a lot of uh, people to PvP and uh, like the novice like race and all that. I'm just totally like dissuaded from doing it because of the cap, though. Yep. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, this could have been a really great community game for us to all work on. Yeah, I mean that was the first thing that was talked about when yeah, have you flown the, the idea of the cap was thrown out. It was like, well, how can you get anyone to want to play Guns of Icarus or? Uh, Camps online or uh, Gotham City imposters. Yeah, I, I think I prefer uh, just like usability, any any kind of fun. But whatever, I guess. The aesthetics. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I do like, like the, the looks of like the magnate and Shrike and stuff, but sometimes it's better to protect people's egos than you know try and create a community of people who want to have fun together you know less about outreach more about just cannibalizing the same people over and over you can just pick it back up and see me get city boards running i very well may I just can't understand because like this has come up in my work and like everything else where there's uh, a bunch of card shops in my area that do zero outreach almost negative outreach they actively turn people away for no reason like someone asks do you have this in stock they go no and that's the end of the conversation and it's like what you you don't ask if you could special order for them like what's you just actively don't want money. I just don't understand it. And so it's like with games and community events, like how, just, how can you turn people away like that? It just does not make sense. Yeah, you'd honestly have too good of a magic and game shop. Yep. <laughs> like, I can't wait for you to fucking make one. Yeah. So there's this one place, uh, the only problem is that they have a five-year lease um, at about five grand a month, but once you're locked into that five-year lease, you're like, fuck. That's a long uh, time. Yeah, and for their, for their triple N, they are paying a little bit of the triple N for the insurance, but it's not really enough to actually want to do it. Um, so I don't know. Like seeing if they can, if I can hold out and get a better thing, or you know, and yeah, and check out other still, stuff. Still, just trying to raise money for it. I'm not at my goal for money. I forgot. Were you guys planning to do D and D and tabletop games and stuff like that too? Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. I talk about magic all the time. Magic is like 10 percent of the business. Well, it's not the big money maker, right? It's just kind of it's, a community it's really driver. Not. It's you want to break even, and it's your advertising. It's your budget. For yeah. Is that the, the events? You break even. You maybe make a two hundred to five hundred off of an event if you're lucky, um, which I think we can do. It's perfectly fine. But uh, that brings their friends and more people. And if you can have good competition to where it's it's a uh, actionable it's it's like something that people really want to it's tough competition yet people are nice then that's a whole other level it just brings people to the store uh, but there's so many things there's smash brothers events or smash sisters now and and uh like uh, i was talking to a friend who's like you know there's a huge just dance community in our city and i had no idea i'm like yeah you just have a just dance event like, that'd be awesome you know, and it's, it's uh, you know, streaming every event that goes on every night, just streaming every single day. Yeah, 24-7 stream. Yeah, getting... I can never turn it off. 
yeah, getting a more professional stream and things to where like I could go, okay, after hours or um, you know whatever, um, I could say, okay, if you, if anyone wants to make like you know a D and D like a I forget what Geek and Sundry calls it, but like uh, they're uh, they have critical their, role. Yeah, so you could have your own critical role for you and your D and D group. You know, pay me a hundred bucks. I'll do it. I'll edit it. Get it for you. It's a bing bang boom one day thing. That simple. Oh, that would be crazy. I've never heard of that. That's a that's a good yeah. idea. Yeah. And like I will do the video you. editing. I will provide all the equipment. I rent the space to you guys, and we're gonna fully record and stream. Uh, you know, whatever creative like tabletop RPG you want to put out there into the world. That's a pretty badass idea, man. So Tabletop does that with, uh, you know, Will Wheaton and everything, and they set it up, but they have, like, a whole day shoot of, like, six hours or whatever, and all this other I, It's more of a... Uh, but they're not, like, hiring it out so, as a service, though. Well, like, they, they rent out another space, which is like, well, if I own the shop, or I'm, I am leasing the shop or whatever, then it's like you have that space, so you just got to use it at a time when... Um, either there's not a lot of traffic, like on a Monday, Mondays are usually dead for card shops, um, and, or you do it before hours or after hours, you know, and even then, if you do it during the day, you can just say filming in progress, please be quiet, you know, that's simple, and it's really, you don't have to worry about it too much. Yeah, card shops don't really get rowdy just from tra normal traffic. Yeah. Oh man, maybe not the ones you frequent. But that's a whole other angle. Like, again, I said, like, magic's like 10% of my brain power on that. Like, there's so much more with all the tabletop, the D&D, Warhammer. If you can get Warhammer to happen, it's very difficult to work with Games Workshop. But uh, Star Wars Destiny is really big right now. Um, there's a couple other kind of figurine-type games. Some hex games. Cut in and say something completely off topic real quick. Sure. Uh, in, in Shake Your Money Sim, do I actually have to play? I mean, I already got the trophy, like the gold one. Can I just like AFK at the level? Yeah. Level up my gunner? Yep. You just AFK it. Alright. Look at my gunner level. Good to know. Everyone feast your eyes. But yeah, that's like one of the things where streaming and using streaming as marketing <laughs> for your advertising <laughs> budget. Is one way to like double the amount of reach you get just from that. Actually, sat as an action player. Like, the only reason it's not level one is because I occasionally, while flying as a pilot, go on a gap or something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not, I don't want to hear that. Yeah, using streaming to just double the outreach you get for advertising is great if you can do it properly. Like, again, what amazes me is a, a local store, after not getting too great numbers, um, they got Twitch partnership already, just immediately. I think, I guess, them having a store is more what sold it than them actually having views. That's cool. Um, Dude, I'm telling you, that idea to, like, what's it? What's it like remind me of? Yeah, well, it's like hosting private events or doing that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, but it's more than that. It's like, it's kind of like, these are going to be bad examples, but it's like Make-A-Wish Foundation a little bit where a kid wants to like live as Batman for a day or like those princess parties. That's like a big industry where these girls who are like in their 20s, 30s, like dress up as Cinderella and show up at a house with a bunch of little girls and like dress them all up as Cinderella and you know they all feel like oh I'm Cinderella for the day and shit. Yeah, can I get one of those like now? Like <laughs> can I have like that part of you right yeah. now? <laughs> no, but you know what I mean? Like it's it's not just oh we've got this space for you guys to play your D and D game. It's like we're gonna stream you, put you up on the internet, we're gonna record the entire thing, we're giving you all of it, I'm gonna video edit it, give you like a badass video, like your story's gonna come to life, your story. Yeah, 
And, and you're getting that. publicity. Yep, because I, I get to put my my store and if you want this service on the front end of each video. Like it's just easy. I finished the game in like four minutes and now I just got an AFK for like thirty. Get wrecked. What a good fucking game. It reminds me of that one VN where you have to like you play the game in like two seconds. You need to sit oh, and oh, stare sure. at the one fucking image for two hours. That shit sucks, dude. Yeah, and the uh, sequel has two of them. <laughs> yeah, four hours. Mmm, baby. Yeah, I set a timer for that and then let it go like ten or twenty minutes over just in case. This last level, dude. She's like bleeding. And there's like. Yeah. And? What the fuck? I don't know what you're trying to get at, dude. dude what the fuck is Everything's that? sounding good to me. Capitated heads and people bleeding. It's my fetish. Are you into BDSM like Violet? more but yeah that's that's one of the hard things with uh starting a card shop or just any business you have to think of everything that everyone's doing do it better than them and then you definitely need to think of more things they aren't doing like that that video service and you need to sell monster for double the normal price There's going to be monster, there's going to be sodas, there's going to be chips and hockey and all that kind of stuff. Yo, what about healthy snacks? I I would do it if you could find a name brand that is more well known than like hockey. <laughs> like you might be able to do like smart pop or like Next popcorn make you because they sell individual homemade bags. Homemade keto bowls. And ship it yeah, to dude. You. You can get some protein shakes. The, the thing is, is like food and drink is basically, uh, it's something that you, there's two ways to go for it. Either you are a business that is selling food, like you have an actual kitchen and you're yeah. doing things like that licensing, or you have to sell everything that is snack and impulse buy because you, like, all the places I look at, the first thing I do is, Go. Okay, there needs to be some type of late night or 24 hour food thing near the business because that's where you get your midnight pre releasers and all that stuff. And so, like, you go, okay, for meals, everyone else has the meals covered. So I have to do incidentals like sodas and chips and snacks and candy and whatnot. Which there's a huge, uh, you can totally, uh, uh forgetting the word. Not upsell. You have a, a bigger profit margin on that stuff because people are fine paying one buck, two, two bucks, buck fifty for candy that you get for like seventy five cents or fifty cents on wholesale. Yeah. I remember when we used to do midnight lunches at GameStop. I'd partner up with like the Quiznos right next door and have them like stay open till midnight, and it'll bring That's a lot of people in because they could get food. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that wait, kind of stuff. Are there still Quiznos? Is that still a thing? There's one more in my state, and it's like right next to my house. They all got replaced by Togos or Togo. I never know which one it is. I think it's Togos. I think I went there once in law school. <laughs> it's a weird fucking memory. It's okay, but like I try and get like a chicken salad or something, and like throw some bacon on it, and it's always weird because every time I ask for it, they're surprised and like how do what we, we don't have that on the menu what do we do and i'm just like you figure it out <laughs> give me a chicken salad add 50 cents for bacon like give me a sandwich and then throw it on a salad that's what i want <laughs>
but yeah, so like the video service was one. Another one was outreach um, for schools because in our area, whatever store location that we can finally find, there will be at least five to 10 schools in that, in that radius. And no, no school ever, no, no store ever does any outreach. There's no magic clubs at high schools or middle schools. There's no after school things. It, there's no college outreach at all. We had a store team up with another store and they ran an event at a college and rented out their um, hall space and did this huge event, which was kind of a failure, but they had no outreach. They had no flyers, no nothing. They had a, a website sort of, and the details were very sketchy and they just bungled up the whole thing. And I'm like, how could you hold an event at the college and not even advertise to the college? Did they pull a dash con? No, they did not. But it was just so badly organized. Like it started off as like, okay, pay 25 bucks for the entire event to play Smash Brothers and Magic or pay 15 bucks to uh, go to one or the other. Um, so they already split everything and they had this whole thing where like you have different colored wristbands or this and that and then like the details just kept changing and then they'd be like it's a thousand dollar tournament and then they're like well no it's like gonna be a 2k or no it's gonna be a thousand dollar and then it like just keeps changing and then it's like well it'll only be a thousand dollar if we get over 80 people or this and that and like it's just the confidence was just shot Uh, yeah, there's like no one does any advertising. Some of the things that you gotta do is like, yeah, I gotta hire someone to watch the shop for a day while I go around to every high school and college and try and find my way in. Find somebody, find a teacher who can, who's interested in starting a magic club. There's grants from state. You can get a thousand bucks. get a uh, thousand bucks if you can prove that uh, your business has like some type of after school program or that it just benefits children in general that's all a thousand bucks like that there's so many grants out there for small businesses you just gotta figure out which one fits your business and fill out the forms correctly It is a bit of a pain, but I have experience with it. Do you have any experience with boy kissing, by the way? I do not, but I do have experience in the card game, Boy Crazy. God damn it. Have you seen the Boy Crazy game? Why aren't you in there? No, this is some like fucking male Atome shit. It is that. It was made in the 90s. It's all like, I think it's from like 8 years old to 14 or something or 16. And it's all just dudes, you know, like kids. And it's like uh, where they're from, what they, what music they like, what their hobbies are. <laughs> it's a trading card game where you're supposed to basically almost draft it. Where you, you and your friends decide which one you like. And then like, I don't know, you, you, you vote or some shit. It's ridiculous and hilarious. Well, Rick and Morty's on Netflix. Has it always been? Only the first season. Yeah. I just didn't. I, I mean, I already watched it. I didn't know it was on there though. I rewatched the first season. First episode is ass. But I don't, I don't even remember any of the episodes. Second one, I think, is the one where they try to go through the spaceship customs, and he's like, "You got it." You gotta shove it up your butt, Morty. Way up there. That's probably one of the best scenes. What was that? What? Fuck, what was that seed like for at the end of the day? It was like a party drug or something? Yeah, no, I think it was like it was like a coconut drink or something, basically. God, I can't remember. Is that what it was? Yeah, it was just like, he was just thirsty. And he was like, oh, thanks, I wanted that. <laughs> Shit.
Oh, I got auto This game is so dumb, dude. The fucking Mulan Sejuan sauce thing has me fucking laughing so hard. Yep. <laughs> Just the fact that it's a real sauce is so fucking funny by itself. <laughs> It's like the ultimate fucking trivia information, and he turned it into this massive ass joke. Wait, what? What? Where the, why is Lacey at an airport? Uber. She's visiting family, if I recall. Keep up with off topic, bro. Family is visiting. She's got to pick them up. Oh, I see. Dude, Frost Lumo went crazy and now Google Uber just chance. The Discord. Just denied like everything. Go to the appro approval queue, there's literally nothing in it. Well, we actually, uh, we actually did, uh, a little bit of progress on infiltration three for a perfect world. I think we only need to do it two more times. Wait, we did? Like half done, but yeah, I'm like half done on it. You have to win five times with 100% VIP and enemy ships destroyed. Are we ever gonna I have finish? Like half progress. Extension C. For perfect world infiltration three. Yeah. I have zero out of five. Oh, That's crazy. Ah, I'm in the jam. I'll look it up when I'm out of the game. Cause like you know, at the end of the uh, end of the match, it shows you three achievements and what yeah. the progress is. Like you post this next thing. Can't get over White's profile, dude. Did you do minimalism? Yeah. I had a really bad time on it, though. It I mean, it wasn't like... Three and a half hours or something. It was pretty tough, but not like... Did you use a controller? Crazy tough. I'm having trouble on... I forget what level it is, but it's just a stairs down, stairs up, like it's just spikes, and I cannot figure out how to get up and over the spike at the end. You have to double input. I did that. And it so like, when you jump off a ledge, if you're holding right, and you jump off of a ledge and go left, even if you're still holding right, you're gonna go left. You have to like, keep tapping right, and then hold it. The game has fucked with me. Oh, okay, so I, what I'm not doing is I'm not holding the input, so it, every time I do that, it keeps jumping the opposite way. Yeah, it just like completely forgets that you've been holding right, and we'll just push you left. Okay. Maybe really, I'll I feel like there's only a few hard that. levels in that game. I'm trying to like, build up my skill at platformers just because like I enjoy them. I suck at half of them. I need more good shitty platformers. Pinkman good? Yep. yep. Yes. Very easy. And, like I know it's good but like is it good? Like good? It's a fun like 30 minutes to an hour you know? Yeah. Fucking 30 minutes dude. It's a fast easy game. Like N light. Kind of looks like N plus plus. You want a platform it'll be stuck on for a thousand hours? Go get N plus plus. Wasn't that easy at one point? Like you didn't have to gold stuff or whatever. Yeah, it's not easy, but it's it like I mean, like compared to what it is now.
It took me like 35 hours to hundo the first time, and now it'd probably take me like a thousand. in that game because I pressed escape trying to pause and it closed the game on like level 3. I've been playing a lot of really weird shit lately. Cut off because I'm tapping on low, but I'm assuming you mean I don't eat bagels. God damn, there's so much pee on my chip. It's like a hundred p. What is this game? Dragon? A game about a dragon? Just answered your own question. I was like, oh, it's like all like sketched out in like crayon. Do you guys like the faction method? No one's gonna know what they're talking about. They're gonna have yep. to figure it out when they look at the map and they see where we're deployed. Yep. As a teacher, I have learned just now, never expect people to figure it out. Great That's teacher. True. But hey, I pray for your uh, survival and well being and your happiness and truly just everything. I, I wish you the best of luck. What do you teach? I 
to teach science to uh, all the broken kids. No. What do you mean the other? I mean the ones who are otherwise on course for flunking out if sent to my school. We are alternative education. Okay, mm. I understand. I'm picturing alternative education. You just have like a whip and you just like do your work. No, we try to get them into career in tech ed faster yeah. than other programs. Now, not that it would be the same thing with the same purpose, but I went to a an alternative school at one point in my freshman year because it knew I had a, a knife on me in school and. That was actually unintentional. He just put my pants the night before, and I ran in because I was running late, so I ran in early, and I didn't realize it was there, and someone pulled on me, and it's a fucking there, and it's suspended like three fucking months. Because it was probably it was after like one of those shootings, so they're like freaking out, and <laughs> I was just sitting there in a class with a bunch of douche scumbags who were uh, were criminals. Did need to know his career number. It was literally Google. Yeah, not altogether inaccurate. Is someone gonna jump onto a squid? Because they kind of need their their squid Corner number. Captain SM. <laughs> There's like a city near me called Auburn Hills, dude. I mean, I, I yeah, does that make you feel? Shit? burnt out on these runs for now. <laughs> yeah, me too. As far as flying fly goes. I can fly it from a bit. I want to go to bed now myself. We should probably just disband it for a couple days. We're, we're doing pretty well anyway. And it's late. I mean, in the space of, what, an hour and a half or so, we went from, you know, nothing to almost 85% on Yumin. I think you mean Austin. Watch your yeah, time. Yeah. Exactly what I said. What do you mean, Austin? <laughs> you be very careful now. I am the faction leader. Now I can't <laughs> prove it. I can't away. do anything. I can't prove it. I can't do anything. But Steve, <laughs> you better watch out. He might make a faction message. I may. Yeah. I may make a comment about you. You better watch out. <laughs> no such thing as bad publicity. Yeah, actually, I was bitching about that earlier to someone, and I, I said literally the only thing I got was the letter, and the reason was because at the time I changed the uh, the comment that was like a faction message faction and, like, and added the letter A. Well, technically the word A because, you know, someone's sentence was broken English, so that was it. At that point, my contribution, my gift for getting faction leader was the letter A. Let me give it another minute, see if anyone joins, but they don't we can always just go back down to three ships although do we have a runner because it seems like often i don't really want to do it
haven't seen everyone in here pretty much the active people that are on any reason you guys want to keep going right now or instead of just banging out tomorrow I'm getting close to bedtime myself to be fair we do have to get like a bit of a rush tomorrow to defend it because I imagine they will come on and start pushing numbers into there Nomad wants to do it. All right, we'll uh, we'll drop down to three ships. <coughs> uh, I'll make a lot of you guys some journey on these. I guess we're done. Uh, I think they're making a new lobby or something. I don't know. Looks like we played 20. To, I guess we just get less uh, XP or something. For what? Like, instead of three ships, instead of four? Um, no, I don't even think you get less XP, really. I think it's just easier with four. Got it. Yeah, we got a spot in that extra channel. Uh, I may stop playing this right now. Oh boy, oh boy. Sure won't. 